Hello everyone and welcome to this rather spontaneous video from me following on from the news that we will be getting Far Cry 6 gameplay this week. Now as this channel is largely dedicated towards the Far Cry franchise, I thought I'd share the three things I'm looking out for when the gameplay releases and also finish up with a bonus item that I hope won't be a factor but we will discuss regardless. Be sure to let me know what you're looking out for in this initial gameplay reveal and let's jump into it. The first thing I'm keeping an eye out for is the much anticipated city region which was first confirmed when Far Cry 6 was announced. Now it featured heavily in the cinematic trailer but I hope we get our first actual look at it in game this Friday. Urban areas in past Ubisoft games have been a little bit cookie cutter and repetitive like in Ghost Recon but I'm confident this is going to be a far more handcrafted area and hopefully somewhere that has a really cool atmosphere. I'm also hoping that the city features a lot of verticality as urban combat will be cool but being able to access rooftops and certain interiors will bring a whole new dynamic to the gameplay. And of course this city is just a small part of a far bigger world in Far Cry 6 which I'm also looking forward to exploring but nevertheless an urban area like this is brand new to the franchise and I hope we get our first proper look at it in this gameplay. The second thing I'm looking out for or rather listening for is the voice of our character. That's right Far Cry 6 will see the return of voiced protagonists which I don't think we've seen since Far Cry 3. Now Yubi have confirmed two voice actors have been hired for the role and which one you hear will depend on the gender you pick for the main character at the start of the game. A bit like the recent Assassin's Creed titles. Now personally I think the move back to a voiced protagonist is a good move for the franchise and I hope it will get players more invested in the story. That said, the two voice actors do have a lot of pressure on their shoulders with Giancarlo Esposito playing the villain. He looks to be nailing that character and I really hope that the protagonist or the voice of the protagonist is of a similar quality. Nevertheless, I'm confident Yubi have picked the right people for the job and hopefully we get our first glimpse into what those voices sound like in this gameplay. The last thing I'm looking out for is some innovation in the gameplay department. Now obviously we all know and love the core of the Far Cry experience and I don't want Yubi to radically move away from what we've come accustomed to but nevertheless some little innovations and steps in gameplay mechanics and game systems are obviously something we want to see to keep things fresh. Personally, the images of tanks suggest that perhaps more vehicle combat might be a feature and hopefully it feels a bit more intense and less clunky than previous games. And maybe that even suggests a little bit of destructibility in the environment. That's all speculation, but I'm hoping we find out with this gameplay. Another thing I hope to see is dynamic weather, especially if it impacts gameplay. Yara seems like the perfect place to reintroduce weather events like tropical storms and I just think weather makes a world feel far more alive and interesting. We might not get an answer on the weather front in this initial gameplay but this early screenshot has given me some good confidence it will once again be a factor in the franchise. And what about that bonus point, the thing I don't want to see? Far Cry New Dawn. Was it canon? Will that story impact mainline games like Far Cry 6? I don't think we ever really got a definitive answer from Ubisoft. Now personally, I really hope that ending to Far Cry 5 wasn't canon, or at the very least it's on a timeline far separated from Far Cry 6. Now I respect there's plenty of fans of New Dawn out there, I just don't like the idea of spin-off titles impacting the mainline games, especially when those spin-offs like New Dawn received a mixed reaction. Now screenshots suggest that makeshift weapons similar to New Dawn will be a thing in Far Cry 6, but I'm really hoping this is just due to a lack of resources rather than a global nuclear event. I just feel like the nuclear ending to Far Cry 5 sent the franchise in a very sudden and very different direction and I hope that Far Cry 6 acts a bit like a reset button on where the franchise was heading. I'm pretty confident Far Cry 6 is going to be more of a standalone experience like most of the Far Cry games, but I don't know, let me know what you guys think as well. So they are some of the things I'm looking out for with the Far Cry 6 gameplay reveal this week. Now if you're new around here this channel is dedicated towards the Far Cry franchise, especially the map editor side of the game and very soon we'll be having a Far Cry 6 themed 
map building competition using the Far Cry 5 map editor. Hopefully that makes sense. And if you do want to get involved, be sure to check out the other series here on the channel and also our Discord, which will be linked in the description. I will be back shortly after the gameplay reveal, giving you my thoughts and opinions and reactions on what we do see. But in the meantime, I will be down there with you guys in the comments during this really exciting time to be a Far Cry fan. Hey everyone, thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you love the creator side of gaming, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as it really helps out a small channel like mine. A link to our Discord is in the description and on screen right now you can see some other videos that I think you'll really enjoy.